<risa> abuela Bear, oh, yes, storyteller, oh, hello, kid. Uh, abuela, uh, you're not from Mars, are you? <risa> hey, what a crazy question that is, storyteller. <risa> But she didn't answer it. Oh, well, I'm sure she's not. Grandma's from Mars? What? Is this? Wow. I don't know. I don't know, but it looks fun. It looks funny. It looks orange. Ooh. Pretty. Oh, that's them arriving right now. Oh, and such a pretty town with pink buildings. And there's a cat, and there's another cat, and there's a kid with a bike, and there's another kid there, and there's a dad. And it looks like he's going off to work in his orange car. Oh, I'd like to have an orange car. Fred and Nell's parents are off to a meeting, but first they tell Grandma. Here's what they'll be eating. It's school in the morning. They can't be up late. So homework, a bath, and in bed before eight. Eight? Okay. All right, so there's the kids and there's grandma and the parents are off and running. In most of the houses in Fred and Nell's town, there's a grandma in charge and she's settling down with an eat up your greens. Stop picking your nose. Give grandma a kiss. What your grandma says goes. Okay. Yeah, it's looking a little yicky for some of these. Ew, ew. Oh boy, those kids look a little bit not so amused. Grandmas are tough. Meanwhile, on Mars, there's an awful plan brewing. Oh no. Look at those ladies. They know what they're doing. If we look like grandmas, they'd listen to us. So let's beam them up. I bet no one will sass. What? They're going to kidnap the grandmothers? Ah! It happened so quickly. The kids aren't aware. Whoosh. All oh, the grandmas shoot up in the air. Oh, oh, hey, oh. Even the bird. Ah! The Martians replace them and get settled in. In place of each gran, there's an evil green twin. Ah! Fred and Nell notice their grand's not quite right. Eat junk and hover. Eat junk and hover. Let's stay up all night. They think about calling their parents, but wait. Grandma's instructions are wild. This is great. It's chaos. It's mayhem. It's fun for a while. But there's always a but. There's something unpleasant about Grandma's smile. Is that a spare eyeball? A tail? A striped tongue? I don't think that's Grandma, says Fred. Run, run, run! All the children start running away. We are your grandmas. Now do as we say. They're going bananas. They're crushing our cars. They're crazy. They're bunkers. They're Grandma's from Mars. The town's at the mercy of little green grands. Stop swinging from lampposts and show me six hands. Fred and Nell stop. This is no time to run. We can beat them together. Well, maybe with the help of all these police officers and that helicopter, maybe. We can beat them together. Come on, everyone. They're not real grandmas. They just look the same. Fred says, let's try beating them at their game. Huh? Nell says, good thinking. So how about this? We grab each grandma and give her a kiss. Oh, dastardly plan. It's one thing to say it, another to do it, but Earth is at stake. And that's all there is to it. The kids pucker up and shut their eyes and attack. Mwah! That's disgusting. Yuck, have your grands back. Oh, cocoon. They're off and running and oh, they did not like the kissing. Hooray, grandma's home and she's not even bruised. Just a little bit dizzy <laughs> and slightly confused. Fred and Nell's parents look around at the rubble. I hope that the kids didn't give you much trouble. Like two little angels, Gran says with a shrug. Look, here comes Grandpa. 
Hey kids, where's my hug? Sequel! Oh, grandma's from Mars. Oh, this was such a funny story. Did you like it, Abuela Bear? Oh, yes, the funny grandmas from Mars. I love stories that feature uh, grandmothers and abuelas because sometimes we like to be the star of the show too. Oh, I know you too, Abuela Bear. So seriously now, are you from Mars? <laughs> I never tell. <laughs>